learn how to use the sextant and learn how to figure a position using the stars is a great thing. I want to use the two minute star finder to show you how it as a training aid can be used to do these magnificent things. The two minute star finder was really made as a training aid to learn celestial navigation. It has been used in classroom. What I want to do to you is introduce to you how this star finder can be used to learn celestial navigation and how to use it to define anything that you may study in books. If you had the star finder with you, you can actually find all the definitions and find their explanation within the star finder. First, an introduction to the layout of the star finder. In this case, we have three parts. The main disk with all these numbers on it. We have the grid, which is really called the latitude disk. It is for your latitude that you happen to be at. And the outer disk, the third disk on top, is the stars themselves that move through our sky. So the idea here is to use the figures on the outer disk. It's self-contained, needs no nautical almanac or other bits to set this up. What we can do is set this latitude and longitude up. We can set the star disk up so that those stars are exactly within a degree or two of where they should be. So that when you look at your night sky and look for these stars, you'll see them in terms of their bearing. This disk has zero through 360 degrees and their altitude zero horizon right up to 90 overhead every 10 degrees is marked so we can find any star that's in the sky and find its true bearing and its height within a few degrees usually within a degree so first we have to learn to set it up. The setup is fairly easy, but let me explain to you what you are looking at. So I'll home in more on the star disk. Here's a star disk, zero at the top, notice north, and a pin through north. This gives us accuracy. This pin is in a position of 45 north, so that this position over our head, this cross, is 45 degrees from the celestial and the equator of Earth. This is over your head. We have to set that disk up first, then we look at the outer rim and use it. Let me explain the outer rim to you. First of all, we have clock, which is really zero. This is where Greenwich, England is. Then we have from that time, 13, 1400, right around the disk that gives us Greenwich Mean Time. The other thing we have is dates. The dates, November, December, and there are 30 days in between. So this is just like a calendar. November, December, January, right around. We also have, starting at 12 o'clock, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 360 degrees, 
right around the outer rim. So we can do many things with this. And this will be explained to you as we set up the star finder for finding stars. The first thing we want to do is to set up the horizon disk, which is the latitude disk. This happens to be latitude 45. So through the center where north is, we pinpoint at 45. So this is set up for 45 north. The second thing we do is to set the north-south line, north-south line, this is 180, to our longitude. In this case our longitude will be 30 degrees west longitude. So this pin then on the disk is set at 30. So this represents our position. This represents directly over our head our zenith, 90 degrees from our horizon. Now the stars are moving through our sky. Our position is maintained and as it is, but the stars are actually moving. So we have to set the star disk up so that it is in the correct position for us to read off at the uh, height and body of a star. And it's been so we have to go in for the date first, February the 25th. So we look on the disk for February and count off 25 degrees because each degree equals one day. So here's February and let's count off 25 days. February 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this is the point or place we're looking for. Actually a place on the disk that we want to keep. It's actually midnight on the date that, of February the 25th. It's equal to that. So now what we want to do is decide when we want to go out and observe stars. We have decided that we will go out at 0, 8, 12. So we add the two together, 22, 16, and 0, 8, 12. This gives us 30 degrees and 28 minutes. So what we do then is to look for that degrees, but there's 24 hours in a day, so we're really looking for 628 as far as time. Each one of the degrees are equal to four minutes. So to find six and home in on that, that's where we want to put Aries. That is the indication of where the stars are from. This line is Aries. So we just move this Aries line up to point to that time of 628, which is really 7 degrees past 6. So we now have that. That means our stars are in the sky in the place we want them at the time we want them. The date being February the 25th at 8.12 Greenwich Mean Time. So now we can look at our stars and start to fill out the star form as far as Antares. So let's look at Antares and see where she is. 
we can start to fill out the star form as far as the bearing and the altitude of Antares. So here's Antares and we can see that her bearing here's 180 line is approximately just to the left of our north-south line or let's say one degree. So the site form for um, Antares would be 181 as far as the bearing from us. The height from us, here's zero, the horizon, would be, here's 10, here's 20, approximately 18. So you can see that it's just to the left. So this also means what is known as local hour angle is one degree. So we have information to fill out site form.